I'm reviewing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for the PlayStation 5. This game is it's okay, it's fun, it's decent. Um when you come to Call of Duty now, you got some kind of weird portal screen. It kind of feels like you're playing a PC game and like always updating and whatever. It's a little confusing at first, but once you hop in, you see what it's all about. Unfortunately for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, there's no zombies. Um, everybody loves zombies. It's always a favorite. I don't understand why they even make Call of Duty without zombies. The campaign was good. It had a decent story. It's not realistic like the old World War Call of Duty days anymore. It's more like, I feel like it has an arcade feel. Uh, the positive things about the campaign is it's decently length, good graphics. It's pretty fun and engaging. The story's not too bad. It's nothing, it's nothing too good, nothing too bad. Kind of like a B-rated movie. It's a good action film, I guess, if you was to compare it to a movie. Also about the campaign, I will say I do not like the sneaking missions, survival missions, because it's like so basic, it's so grab this, build this, but Call of Duty's never been a survival game, and it's so bare bone, shallow, like it's not even that deep or depth, I don't even know why they added it, I guess to try to switch up the pace, but I just felt like it was annoying and couldn't wait to get past it. Other than that, the campaign was pretty good. Multiplayer is solid, as always. Uh, I'll complain about the multiplayer. I feel like they never try anything different. I feel like this is like the Madden of shooters. It's the same thing. I don't know if that's good. I don't know if that's bad. Maybe everybody just wants it to be the same thing. Maybe I'm the only one who would like to see some innovation. So if you love Call of Duty, you know what you're getting. It's basically the same thing. If you want something new, this ain't gonna be it. But the shooting mechanics are tight. The levels are good. So, and then they added, uh, they have these raids. I'm assuming they're gonna add more as time goes on. Uh, cooperative mode. I think it's three players. Y'all team up and try, you know, do a raid. Uh, that's kind of different for Call of Duty. I guess if you don't have zombies, that's something. If you want to play with a friend. I prefer, if I'm going to play with a friend, a good story game. I'm sorry, I just don't get too into, like, missions and spec out missions and raids if there's no story. Like, why should I care? Why do I want to do this? What's motivating me to do this? I, I got other games to play and other things to do. If, there's, if I'm not engaged in a storyline, I don't really care. But that's just me personally. I'm sure some people will have fun with this. So you got the multiplayer, you got the campaign, and you have the raids, and... I'm going to give this game a 7 out of 10 because it's solid, uh, controls are solid, graphics solid, mechanics are solid, but there's nothing innovative here. It's, it's like Madden, it's like NBA 2, you know what you're getting, it's Call of Duty. So I'll give this game a 7 out of 10, yep, that's my score on the PlayStation 5. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe, it's free, it helps. Alright, have a good one.